Lars Erickson here, ambassador for Daddy's Board Shop. This is going to be the portion where I drill the holes. Now, I've already attached. I've never done this before, but I've heard this works. I've always had problems with uh, drilling the holes because um, I always use a hand drill. Now, this is what I'm doing this time. I'm actually attaching my hard riser to it, and I'm just going to drill through there with a small bit and then just go in second with a larger bit. Now, <clears throat> when you're drilling your holes, you always want to attach a second piece of plywood underneath it. This is what happens is it keeps the board from splintering and it makes the finished this product sound, this better. Sound, this sound, All right. This sound, this sound, this sound. 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 All right, I just finished the uh, drilling. It looks really good. That uh, sacrificial piece of plywood underneath really keeps everything from splintering. Now, I didn't know how the bit would handle with the by using a riser pad, so what I'm gonna actually end up doing I'm going to be going through them again with the actual size bit, which is 730 seconds. So I'm going to go through, those are just my pilot holes that I'm going to use to adjust for the bolt hole design. Now I've had a lot of trouble with this in the past, but I think this board's going to turn out really well.
I just finished drilling the uh, bolt holes and they're looking really good. Those pallet holes worked out perfectly. Now all I gotta do is just sand it down a little bit.